when things get hard on the road or even in between tours, what is, what's like the biggest thing that keeps you going and keeps you inspired through those times? Kind of depends on the environment. So it depends on if it's on the road, that could be a different type of <laughs> mental um, just thing that's happening or a depressive thing that's happening or a joyful thing, whatever it is. On the road can be very hard because a lot of times, you know, you're missing loved ones, you're missing your home, you're missing the comfortability of all those things. Trying to, I think for that, at least for myself, I don't have the same situation that Matt does. He has a wife and a kid and a home and dogs and, and a whole family. You know, he's got all that. Um, Danny's getting ready to buy a house and he's engaged, planning on a wedding, trying to balance, you know, all this work, basically, you know, what, I mean, this is work and then mm. a home life. So I don't have the same things as them. I'm a single person, but I have my own struggles as well. But I see, you know, for us, it's kind of what I said before, trying to reflect on the positives about here, you know, remember how hard we've worked for these things and to be grateful for the moments that we have within these things, because we never know how long they're going to last. You know, COVID was a huge thing that showed us it could happen overnight and it's gone. Um, but to reflect and to try to stay positive as possible, you know, be grateful for every little thing and, and try to manifest what you need to manifest is a big thing. If you're putting out into the universe what you want, that's what you're going to get. You know, so if you're putting out a lot of negativity and through those hard moments, if you're only focused on the negative, you're going to continuously get negative. I always try to say that there is a positive in every situation. It's just depending on how you want to look at it. So there's a lot of times where it's on the road. It does become very hard. But if you sit in that negative, it's going to only become harder for yourself, you know, and it'll become more depressive and dark. And we all go through those moments. And sometimes you just need to isolate or you need to cope however you need to cope, but you can't stay in those things. You have to keep pushing forward. Uh, at home, there's a lot of times where I've gotten very, very dark and depressive moments. Um, I've talked about this in a previous interview that's on my Instagram as well. And just the same thing, realizing that you don't have to be stuck in this and to find sources outside of however you need to um, that are positive for you and benefiting you that to you're just not stuck in those moments. You know, this is a mind game almost for yourself. At least for me, it is. Everybody's a little different, but I, I'll get caught sometimes and just being like, when I'm not on tour, what's my purpose? You know, and, and like I said, I don't have the same things to go back home to. So a lot of the times where I had a lot of friends around when I was younger and I was touring, I was younger. I was, I was going out on tours and going to Europe and doing all these things and coming back home and I had all my friends. So it's, it felt like, you know, because you're surrounded by 10, 12 people on a bus all the time on the road and all these fans and people are yelling for you and they want to meet you. And it feels like this big party. Right. And then you go home and then you're with your friends and my younger 20s and I'm just hanging out with everybody. Well, as everybody starts to get older, everybody starts to have their own lives. I started coming home and then I just had nothing. Uh, so it was myself and it became very lonely and very depressing. And um, I think that it took a while for me to realize that I had to dig inside myself and reflect on things and then soul search a little bit and to realize what was truly important for me. What was I trying to just live off of? Was I living off those highs? You know, kind of like an addiction thing. You know, I've been surrounded by addiction my entire life, not myself personally, but throughout my family and things like that. And uh, I think it's taught me a lot about how not to get trapped into the negative mental funk of things and go down that dark path. Um, being very vulnerable with myself, but also very real. You know, there's a lot of moments where it's like, you're pissed off at somebody or something or whatever, but you have to be like, why am I, you know? Cause that'll spiral you. You might be mad because you're not home, you know, dealing with this thing that you should be dealing with and you're out here. So you feel guilty. Okay. Well, you're projecting then maybe potentially something to somebody else. And now you're mad at them, but you're not really mad at them. You're mad at yourself. So you have to reflect you know i just keep coming back to that you have to reflect and, and understand those things a little bit and and be honest with yourself and we all try to be that for each other you know we try to be there for each other as as a family and be like it's okay for you to be in a mood you know but like we're here for you kind of thing um because we all go through it whether it's at home whether it's on tour we have these highs and we have these lows and we're gonna go through them it's roller coasters but as long as we're so real with ourselves and i'm open and honest and vulnerable have those kind of private talks with yourself so you sit back and you go okay what is wrong with me why do i feel this way what is happening with me could this be from this thing could this be from this thing and you could start to 
compartmentalize those things a little bit and then go through those files, you know, like, let me take this at this time. Let me take this one and, and get the strength back to get back to it. It's at least helped me a lot trying to be very vulnerable with myself. Um, I was taught from a really young age to just be very honest. If I was old enough to ask, I was old enough to know. And I think that uh, having that sort of thing when I was a kid taught me to be very real, you know, um, asking a question and getting the response that you didn't expect because you wanted to be angry, right? Everybody wants to sometimes just be angry and take it out on somebody. When somebody hits you with that truth and goes, no, I did this. You're just like, okay. So it taught me to be really real with myself, but also real with my peers. And that I think is a really strong suit. If you can be really real with yourself in those hard moments and just be honest, I know that this isn't how I'm supposed to be right now, but then figure out the why that'll help you the most to get through those things because you're never alone. You have people around you. It's a mental trick to think that you're alone because right now, you know, there's people in the hotel and I'm in the bus or any of these things and I could just isolate all day, but is that going to be healthy for me if I'm in those moments? But I have so many people to lean on. I have fans that I could lean on if I need to. I have friends, you know, it's a game that we play a lot of the times that we think that we're alone, we're dark or we're depressive or any of those things. Um, but there's so much beauty in all of this more than we realize sometimes. And it just takes a little bit of reflection to, you know, admit to ourselves that it's okay.